Well, Ruth, we have some video now. If you tell us a little bit uh, as we go, on, go along some of the things that are happening here. So this is the Atlas V booster uh, rolling out to the pad. This is all the way back in October. And you can see the booster is pretty large. It's about 100 feet long. And it looks like they've got the front end of it attached to the 60-ton crane at the mobile service tower. And uh, we have a breakover fixture at the rear of the uh, booster to allow it to go into the vertical position. And you see a good shot there of the RD-180 engine and the twin nozzles. So the booster is positioned over the uh, fixed launch platform and it's aligned and lowered down onto the uh, launch heads. So this is the uh, Centaur stage. You can see the RL-10 engine there built by Pratt and Whitney Rocketdyne. This is a cryogenic stage, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, and it'll be hoisted atop the uh, interstage adapter, which is on the booster. So this is the fully encapsulated LDCM spacecraft. Uh, the encapsulation occurred at the Astrotech facility on Vandenberg Air Force Base and uh, then it's set up on top of the uh, transport trailer and moved out to uh, Space Launch Complex 3. This was on January 25th and you can see we have uh, air going into the payload fairing. This is the environmental control system to keep the uh, payload uh, cool and to meet the humidity requirements and they're going to go ahead and attach uh, the uh, encapsulated assembly and hoist it up into the tower and you saw a good shot there the LDCM logo um, and uh, the uh, black portion at the bottom of the payload fairing is the uh, isolation diaphragm which maintains those environments throughout the entire transport and hoist operation and uh, they'll go ahead and put this through some uh, doors that open and center it on top of the uh, Centaur and then we'll lower it down carefully and I think you'll get a good shot here of the uh, Centaur equipment module as, as it's being carefully lowered down and then they'll go ahead and install all the bolts and ready for launch. Ruth, thanks very much and uh, best of luck to you and uh, the uh, Goddard team, the Orbital Sciences team and uh, the uh, entire NASA and Launch Services program that's here been working on this for quite some time for today for a, uh, a launch that uh, has held the schedule here at the end pretty well. So Bruce, thanks very much for coming by. Thank you, George.